Hello Rage Mage fans, hello guys, kumusta kayo lahat dyan, mga geomates ko, sa mga support, uh, sa mga support sa YouTube channel ko, um, salamat, again, uh, isa na namang video para sa Rage Mage, and today's topic, we're gonna talk about potentials, right, equipment potentials, so what are the equipment potentials, uh, what can actually benefit, uh, what it can benefit you from this game, or, or in duel, everything, right, um, but before that, let us understand first the stats, right? The basic stats, special stats, uh, like secondary stats, resistance, all of those. For you to be able to really understand, okay, how to uh, get a better stats and what potentials should you be needing for each build, all right? For each equipment set or strategy that you're going to be using for your opponent, because even some of my guild mates is uh, trying, uh, having a hard time, as well as other players. So I wanna, I want you two guys to really focus on this and to listen, right? Um, focus on this. I'm gonna explain everything. I'm gonna make it slow and easy as possible for you guys. But let's go ahead and check the stats. So these are basically the stats. So HP, defense, attack, and mojo is your uh, base stats or what they call uh, standard stats these are this um, restrict dodge combo counter crit are your special stats so if you check the equipment these are special bonuses or stats right um, as well as the resistance so these are special stats so these are secondary uh, it could be like special stats but it's odd probably the, the uh, secondary level all right so these are actually the main stats hp defense attack mojo special stats are this all right and these are, are also part i guess of a special stats is what they call it all right so let's go to the stats here right here so hp of course we know that attack we does uh defense mojo so just this is new Mojo, uh, I've been playing uh, RPG or any uh, game in the, in the past, but this is actually new. Mojo, the higher Mojo, the faster you launch, launch an attack. So meaning to say that attack speed is the Mojo. All right, um, attack percentage. It's basically you know Mojo percentage increases Mojo by a certain percentage. Um, so all of this, right? You can just scroll it down. I don't wanna, I don't explain this really. I just wanna explain you the basic. Um, stats and um, of course uh, how it would work and what it can actually benefit you in uh, the long run right so um, let me just do something here because I think uh, right there's uh, something to be looted <laughs> all right excuse for me on that um, one second all right going back where am I I got lost so um all right so let's talk about potentials here all right so these are actually uh potentials are the uh kind of stats that you can activate once you i guess you reach level 90 or above and it gives you a specific stats be it the main stats the special stats or resistance okay we're gonna talk about it one by one so let me explain so for weapon, weapon, um, it has like base stats, of course, and the potential actually here in weapon, potential here is current equipment gains additional 140% crit. All right, tatagulogin ko guys para sa Pilipino, just for your you guys, kung ano yung nakaikip sa yo, kung ano yung nasa special uh, stats mo, ay yung interest niya, since Hey, I have, uh, let's say, crit, right? I have crit on my special, uh, the special bonus here. So, current equipment gains additional crit. So, since I have crit, then it's going to increase to 140%. Let's say 4.92. Let's make it simple. Let's say 5. Let's make it 5. 140%, okay, is... Let's say 100% is 5, and then 40% of 5, I believe 125, or I'm not sure, 40% uh, of 5 is 2. So if this, let's say, let's round it off to uh, 5, 
then basically plus 140 percent additional 140 percent that's going to be seven right seven you can you can do math on that but the good thing about it is the higher the crit is which probably you can get from um what they call this this kind of sz sz uh i don't know uh level weapon or, or equipment because once you get SE, it's going to increase all the special bonuses here in the stats, right? So it's better if you have option, it's better for you to get SC, right? Even though the HP defense is a little bit less, but for if you're, if you're uh, let's say, going after to increase your crit and whatever, um, let's say, stats, uh, special bonus here, then I would suggest go ahead and get the SZ with a crit right special um, this second option here second uh, special bonus here it's really depend on what you're gonna uh, what, what's your strategy right so let's go with a shield so shield um, potential stats current equipment gains additional 140% combo so it is important that your special bonus here should be combo because if this like crit or counter, it won't increase anything, right? It won't increase anything at all, right? Now, because you didn't have any combo here, right, on your equipment. So, if your build is combo, and then carrot, then you gotta you gotta uh, have a choice or at least pick one, right? And uh, make sure that it's actually combo and go into here so again and the potentials that you can see all of this equipment uh potentials that you can actually see here are for base stats special stats and resistance so let's go with the headgear so headgear actually increases um critical resistance so if you're going to activate that um, stats bonus instead of 10% it's gonna go to 11 as you can see here so 10% um, let's say if you're gonna level it up and you have it activated it would be 11% all right but I don't need that just make it 10% um, okay so I believe it started in 8% uh, all of it and then let's go to the top which is the uh, armor no. So armor counter resistance, all right. Counter resistance, just get into your scanner, all right. Whatever stats you have here, it doesn't really matter because it's different from of course. Again, what it says here in the shield, all right. Current equipment, it doesn't says that. It's just gonna increase whatever you have there. It always increase counter resistance, all right. And then let's go with the necklace. So this is very important, and I guess most of the. So for some of the guys who doesn't know this yet and for the newbie I believe this has been um, uh, the thing that's pretty much messed out right if they don't know this so the, to, the potential here is really current equipment gains additional uh, I believe it started with hundred percent right I'm not sure uh, 100 or 50 I believe because I have it level 16 so I believe 50 all right 10 percent each level so basically what you have here gains additional hp 200 percent hp attack and defense so all of this hp attack and defense let's say if you have here ten thousand uh like 200 percent of that is another ten thousand that's twenty thousand right so basically you're gonna have thirty thousand total right and the ten percent so just compute it ten percent more because 210 percent is what it shows here Right, so this is really important if you want to really get stronger. This is something that you need to focus on to bang on, right? The necklace. So it increases three uh, basic stats HP, attack, and defense, right? But you, ha you have to activate it, it costs a lot. Just imagine, right? It costs a lot. So you gotta really farm cards um, in the island, or you can buy it, or you can swipe, whatever, wherever you can get it. But uh, we'll probably uh, create a separate video on that. Now, the all right. Let's go to bracers. So bracers um, says current equipment gains additional 130 percent restrict. So I'm not activating it because I don't 
uh, this is not a restrict uh, build, right? But if I'm gonna switch to restrict, then see the special uh, bonus here that I do have on my restrict uh, set is also restrict for bracers because if you're gonna activate it 130 percent of six so i believe that's around like eight percent so that's an additional of eight percent so imagine right it helps a lot it helps a lot um so it's your combo so uh let's go with spoilers spoilers restrict plus eight percent so it doesn't matter um what kind of stats you have here it's just gonna increase the restrict that is the security equipment right it's just gonna increase restrict all right so this is one counter okay so this is for counter the current equipment gains additional 100 percent counter so if you guys has a build or set a, a, of a counter like counter set uh this is one thing that you need to bank on okay um then build so dodge resistance it's basically gonna increase dodge uh i believe it started from eight percent so if you're uh, against an opponent who, who has really high dodge, uh, this can also help by activating it. Um, combo resistance. So if you are against an opponent who has a high combo like me, uh, not really high, but I guess it's enough for you to take a, really a lot of damage. Boots. So boots is actually for dodge. Um, current equipment gains additional 160% dodge. I believe it started around 100%, right? Because I have it level 6. You can see the numbers here. That represents a uh, number of uh, upgrades. So, combo is actually the stats here. Special bonus because this is me. This is my for my combo set. But if we're going to switch to dodge. Then, basically, you would see that I have it in SZ level. Uh, and then, I have it in dodge. Although, it's a bit low. Especially for SZ, it's around 7%. Uh, I haven't seen 8% but 7% this is 5% this is a bit low but uh, I got the overpower which is 5% which is good so current equipment gains additional dodge all right so let's go back to combo and this one so this as you can see the necklace um, only activates and give bonuses to HP defense and attack so what's what what about mojo so you can see it here on the ring all right Mojo, if you want to be uh, uh, like a really to attack first and really fast, so this is where you need to bank on. Mojo increases 100% Mojo, uh, so I have it in crit. Um, so current equipment gains additional 110% Mojo. I have it in crit. It's not a special bonus, but there, this is the Mojo, right? It just increases my Mojo. So as whatever you have here, and then uh, when when the uh, sets bonus does, it's gonna increase whatever set you have here. Then it's gonna increase. If you don't have that, then nothing's gonna increase. Okay. So this is this ring is actually for Mojo. All right. So that's all for the potentials. And um, again, um, I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks. Uh, if you are free to play, or if you're ha having a hard time uh, trying to upgrade or activate this, because you're uh, missing or lacking some resources just activate this probably uh, I would say um, around 8 p.m. where ranking is around 10 and then the also the uh, ranking for what they call this uh, rise to glory before it resets 12 so basically around 9 so you can do dual you, you have it activated you're uh, you'll get stronger if it's activated and you didn't have to spend a lot of resources right but um if you um have a lot of resources uh, if you can uh, spend a lot on this game then basically all you can have it activated all the time because sometimes uh there are areas that you are you need to defend yourself like the ruins right you don't want to uh attack by someone and that's that's gonna take a lot of uh, power and faith from you so uh if you have questions feel free to comment below suggest for any videos or if it is any information about uh, unlocking potentials and questions about these potentials and of course consider subscribing for more quality content and hit the notification bell uh, for you to be notified for the next video then again if you like this video hit like all right this is slide once again peace out